Hello viewers and welcome to a brand new episode on Uneven Asphalt. Now, I normally don't do these kind of edited videos based on replay as you've seen from my channel. I usually do them live so you can get the real essence of aggravation, happiness, anger, etc. Along with my uh, Roundtable Nights teammates, but to be honest, heading towards this race, I wasn't really that comfortable about the GR1s here at Spraw Fakin' Shops. So, I didn't stream it initially, and I am in ninth. Um, but, turns out we had a really, really good race. So, I saved the replay and I figured, why not change it up a little bit? Let me do something that PXKM, Tichney, and Super GT usually do a replay of their videos. So, we had a good qualifying session in the beginning, but we just tumbled down the order. Now, everyone's in a hybrid except me and my teammate, Galeski. Um, at least for me, the reason was, I was absolute poop in the hybrids. And I figured, Diesel's the way to go. So, here we are, the start of the race. As you see, it is literally the calm before the storm. And you will see, it is literally a storm. Watch for one of the prototypes towards the back. He's going to make a very daring, daring move. And the lights go green and away we go. So the hybrids had to jump on me due to their acceleration with the battery power. So I kind of just took it easy. And look, one hit the wall, one cleared out people. And it's just absolutely chaos. Look, three, four, five wide, and you just see all the penalties just lighting up through the field. It's almost like Oprah Winfrey is here, giving up penalties. Now, here's my fans from the start. Had good initial acceleration, but then I took the trash control off a little too early. We get bamboozled, so no worries. And this guy just literally just swoops in, clears a wood track out for us. Now, I get a little bit of wheel spin. Not a big deal. But you see up ahead, there are just penalties left right and center everywhere throughout the entire grid just making it through the first quarter now this is from a cockpit view i figured this would add a little bit more nostalgia to it and just watch towards my right just batman actually it's rusty wallace but black car same difference just swooping through now we're going to take an onboard um with one of my teammates and partner in crime, Greasy Sam Scratch, which you see right here. He also gets a good launch, but get it, gets bogged down by some of the other cars that had to back off. But this wound up helping him instead of hurting him. As he follows our other teammate and partner in crime, Studs. See, look, Rusty Walls just going full NASCAR, just clearing the path for us. And now we are going to go on board with uh, this set uh, cleaning crew. And to be honest, I don't know what he was thinking. But just look, he is a long way back and he just literally just sends it right into the hairpin. Gets on the dirty part of the tires and the track. And he fell back so far that the Belgian airplanes almost re-overtook him. So now we're heading up through E-Rouge and Radeon, just trying to get our bearings right, and you just see, just look at the wave of penalties, and I'm going to pause it right about here. Look, one, two, three, four, five, six, at least six on screen, seven, eight, nine. So nine in literally two frames, you can see nine cars getting a penalty, and there's still chaos going on, as you see another prototype just losing it at the top of the hill. And down and away we go. And there are still cars jockeying for position. We're just trying to bide our time here. Not really going for anything crazy. As we see another prototype getting sideways. We cut to the left to allow ourselves room. And at this point, I think we're in a good spot. We went from ninth in the grid to 7th. Now, I had a really good run in this Audi up ahead. So I go for the overtake. But he just had a little bit more corner grip. On the outside, so I figured, all right, just let it be. He's got a half a second penalty, anyways. I'll just tuck behind him and take advantage when he has to go serve the penalty for the next lap. 
So as we're coming towards the end of the lap, I I thought about making a move here, but I decided, eh, better part discussion is the better part of Fowler. Let's just hang out, ride some coattails, save a little bit of gas, and see what happens. And if you think the chaos is done yet, it is not over yet. Because check out the pit entry. Two cars are jockeying for positions on pit entry. Now we're going to rewind it a little bit and see what's actually happening. So here we are, just kind of just following the two, three prototypes in front. Just biding our time. And you can see Kippy Ye kind of goes in a little bit deep, accidentally makes contact. But then... Both of these guys are literally just boom, just toward him. Just absolute chaos the uh, the first lap. But you know what? We went from ninth to fourth on lap one, so I say we're our progress is we're doing really, really well here. Now starting the second lap, there's not really much to gain here. It was just basically a game of um tire management keeping it clean, don't accumulate any penalties, and just um, saving our stuff. Now, the benefit of using the Peugeot here, in terms of the Audi, is that definitely after Radion up here, we have at least almost a 20 mile an hour top speed difference over the hybrid prototypes, as uh, J2K serves his penalty, and we just go sailing past. So, fast forward, there's really not a lot happening in the middle of the race, so I kind of just cut a lot of this out. So, um, another partner in crime of mine that's also in a non-hybrid prototype, Goletsky, is ahead of us in second, but he's a bit of a ways ahead. Um, we got to as close as about five and a half seconds to him, but we were never really quite um, close to battle for first and second. Pooh Bear was just in a league of his own. He was managing his hybrid really well through the race. So the strategy I was going for since I started mid-pack and I knew I was going to lose out to the hybrids, but I didn't want to lose out that much, is that I went from 12 laps on softs and then pitted at the end of lap 12 to go on the hard tires. Um, some of the other people that you saw pit earlier in the coverage um, did their first lap on hard tires and then are finishing the rest of the race on the soft tire. Now, this could play, you know, either way. It was really an interesting game of strategy. As we're going to back, we're going to toggle back in a couple minutes, and I'm going to show you who we're really fighting for for third place in this race. So, Myrtle, who pitted on hards, as well as my teammate, Greasy Sam Scratch, they started on hards pitted and now on the soft tires so really our race is against them we have to basically run enough good laps to get in front of them and Akris I believe also pitted on the hards to the sauce but he's gonna fall back so we're gonna fast forward to the end of lap 12 and we are going to go in for our scheduled pit stop so, one lap on hearts, pray for the best, hopefully we get ahead of them. Now, as Super GT reiterated in his video, uh, Gran Turismo recently changed the logic of their pit stops, that basically it's no more 5-6 second delta pit stops that you could just do like ham, a sauce, ham, a heart, ham, a sauce, and one lap on hards whenever now as super gt says it takes eight years to do a pit stop so managing your tires and fuel is even more important this season than it ever has been so exiting the pits i light it up a little bit too hard but there a there they are the swarm of angry hybrids coming to get me in my third place now the lucky thing is is that i have the top speed on them but they would have the advantage in terms of tire grip and acceleration for majority of the rest of the lap. So, you see here, they're just swarming, trying to be the first one in line to come get a shot at me. And Greasy pulls a nice slick move on Icarus, dies on the inside, goes around on the outside, 
for the overtake, establishes himself for the next corner. At this point, it is Louis Pojo versus Audi versus Toyota. And there we are, all in the shop. There we literally, look. Literally just a swarm of angry hybrids. They're mad because I decided to not save the earth, not be environmentally conscious, and I went for the dinosaur juice instead with the diesel. Now this is where it gets, this is where I kind of played a little bit tactics. Around here, it's very hard to follow a prototype closely, so I basically just placed my car in order to induce air wash on the cars behind. And here he goes for a lunge. I placed my car perfectly, couldn't get around. Greasy is all over, and it's literally down to the bus stop chicane at the end. Now, here they got the initial jump, but I'm able to claw away using my top speed. As we're headed down towards the bus stop, this is literally anyone's game at this point. Now, I used a little bit of traffic control at the end to kind of save my butt, because I knew it was, was going to be a smash and dash for the finish on the gas. So look at the finish, get really, really sideways, and look at that, three wide across the finish, and I just narrowly beat the prototypes. Now, we're going to jump on board with Roberto. As you can see here, he is just trying everything to get into my slip, but I'm just too far away. And also, he has to manage the other hybrids behind to not impede him in his pursuit to claim my third place. Now, this is where the hybrids really had the advantage. As you can see, they had a tremendous acceleration. That, coupled with low fuel and soft tires, they, they were really on it. I was basically just trying not to make mistakes. Trying to just drive one really good qualifying lap essentially on hard tires now Myrtle's in my slip but he gets a little bit of air washed down here which affects him not too badly still in my slip has the grip from the tires heading down into the tighter section down the hill greasy going for a lunge Myrtle is just carrying so much speed he has no choice but to just give me a slight nudge just to remind me that he's back there. And another nudge to say, hey, you're slow. Get out of my way. And in all grand terms of logic, you can see in my uh, right lower taillight frame, it gets a little bit of paint scuff, which no biggie. No harm, no foul. As you can see here, the might of the Peugeot diesel is just pulling away on the straights. Breaking for the last corner, basically harvesting as enough hybrid energy he possibly could to try to overtake me at the line. As you can see, he gets a straight exit. I don't edit just like that. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I would try to do more of these. I actually thought this was pretty fun to commentate on my own race. Um, if you enjoy the content, uh, please give me a like, subscribe, get the channel a nice pet. And I will catch you guys on the next video. Take care.